Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockheiner. Today's story is Patch Day for June 2017th. As you probably know by now, the second Tuesday of the month is both Microsoft and Adobe Patch Day. So to keep this short, I'm just going to go right into it, starting with Microsoft Patch Day. Ever since Microsoft changed the way they release patches, no longer doing bulletins, it's a little harder to parse what they patched. But long story short, they've released security updates for every single one of their operating systems that is currently supported as well as Microsoft Office, Internet Explorer, and Edge. Uh, they released a ton of updates. I think over 70 different security vulnerabilities were fixed, anywhere from 40 vulnerabilities in some operating systems to 57 in others. Now, they range in scope as far as their severity, but there's flaws in the kernel mode drivers and the way Windows parses PDF files. And while they don't share as much information as they used to, many of these vulnerabilities can be leveraged for remote attackers to execute remote code. Now one point of interest, Microsoft during June patch day also released more updates for Windows XP. You might know when WannaCry came out, they released an update for XP even though they no longer support XP to fix some of the SMB vulnerabilities that were leaked by the NSA. Presumably these new Windows XP updates fix some more of the vulnerabilities that copycat attackers might be using that were leaked by the NSA. Long story short, if you're a Microsoft user, you better go get your patches. And of course, don't forget, it's also Adobe Patch Day. I believe Adobe released updates for Flash, for Reader, for uh, something called Captivate, and something called Digital Editions. So the biggest issue is probably Flash. A lot of people use the Flash player, and drive-by download attacks often like to leverage Flash vulnerabilities. So if you use any of those Adobe products, go update them as well. Anyway, that's it for today's quick Patch Day news. Thanks for watching. <laughs>